Hey YouTube, Brian's Garage here. Uh, today I wanted to do a quick review on the larger intercooler for the 2.0 LTG that is in the 16 to present Camaro and I believe the 2012 or 13 Cadillac ATS 2.0 turbo. These are the two intercoolers side by side. One thing you don't have to worry about are these little suckers getting old and deteriorating over time. And honestly, this thing really feels cheap. Um, there's no air diverter. Now you got the Mishimoto one here, ceramic coated, much thicker, much larger surface area. And you have an air diverter. Now I did have an intercooler on a 19 Camaro from Rev 9. Um, pretty good quality and everything like that, but I just personally, I like Mishimoto a lot. Um, well, for one, this one wasn't damaged when I got it. The Rev 9 was just from their packaging. Um, this inlet here was just really smashed up and it took me forever to grind it and sand it and just to where I could get my charge pipes to fit. Um, I know ZZP makes a front mount intercooler kit that's supposed to be pretty good too. Um, up to a certain temperature though, they're about the same, ZZP and the Mishimoto. Um, I would have gone with the ZZP one to be honest, but I've already got a nice set of used charge pipes off one of the Facebook forums from a guy. So I went with this. Um, so yeah, I just definitely got to show you guys this. This is... This thing's just not impressive at all. Probably does a decent job for the factory turbo if you do no mods, but then you've got this monster. Definitely nice quality and they ship it really well to where I don't think it could get damaged. It would take a lot during shipping, so. Here's the car. Um, a lot of guys take off the front bumper. I'm just, I'm kind of doing this alone, so. I didn't want a chance messing up the bumper. I just took out the radiator shroud, basically. Um, there's a bunch of these little clips. I gotta straighten those out and put them back on, but you pop those off, there's a few bolts here and there. And then it just kind of lifts out of between the condenser and your radiator there. But yeah, I've got the bottom splash pan off too. This is definitely the way I prefer. See, I just wanted to give a quick video on this, just the quality of the Mishimoto. Uh, I'm running the Mishimoto radiator hoses and coolant overflow too. I just, I like their product. They're a bit pricey, but uh, yeah, like I said, I just didn't want to have to go with new charge pipes. I'm already running the N-Gen ones, which I'm very happy with too. A little bit cheaper than Mishimoto. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to hear anything about other mods I've done to the car, comment below. And that's it. Thanks.